Good morning. Welcome to worship this Palm Sunday morning. Special welcome to any visitors who are in our midst and welcome to those of you joining us online. Be sure to join us for coffee and fellowship after worship this morning. A few announcements. First, you can see intern Emily is not here. She is serving over at Faith this morning because Pastor Kathy is ill. So we're on our own this morning. I invite you to look in your bulletins for our Holy Week schedule as we move into Holy Week. We have Monday, Thursday service and Good Friday service, um, Easter sunrise service, and our normal Sunday worship service next week as well. Following worship next week, we're invited over to Faith for their traditional community Easter dinner. So um, details also in your bulletin but 12.30 to 2 over at Faith Lutheran Church. All of us are welcome. There is no charge for this meal. Are there any other announcements that need to be lifted up this morning? No. If not, I invite you to rise as you are comfortable. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. The Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, the 21st chapter. When they had come near Jerusalem and had reached Bethpage at the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples saying to them, go into the village ahead of you and immediately you will find a donkey tied in a colt with her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, just say this, the Lord needs them. And they will be sent immediately. This took place to fulfill what had been spoken through the prophet. Tell the daughter of Zion, look, your king is coming to you, humble and mounted on a donkey and on a colt, the foal of a donkey. The disciples went and did as Jesus had directed them. They brought the donkey and the colt and put their cloaks on them, and he sat on them. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, and others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. The crowds that went ahead of him and that followed were shouting, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heaven. When Jesus entered Jerusalem, the whole city was in turmoil, asking, who is this? The crowds were saying, this is the prophet, Jesus from Nazareth in Galilee, the gospel of the Lord. I'm going to invite any kids that we have here forward this morning. I know we have one. Come on up. I invite you to help me out this morning as we do our blessing of the palms. And then I'll have you lead us in our procession. So you wanna hold some of these. And if I drop them. So these are representing the, the branches that people lay down on the road for Jesus and the donkey to walk on along with their coats. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. We praise you, O God, for redeeming the world through our Savior, Jesus Christ. Today he entered the holy city in triumph and was proclaimed Messiah and King by those who spread garments and branches along his way. Bless these branches and those who carry them. Grant us grace to follow our Lord in the way of the cross, so that joined to his death and resurrection, we enter into life with you, through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Invite all of you to join us in the procession if you wish. I'll have Lexi, you can lead us around the sanctuary, wherever it feels good to go. Let us go forth in peace in the name of Christ, 
Amen. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Let us pray together our prayer of the day is printed in your bulletin. Everlasting God, in your endless love for the human race, you sent our Lord Jesus Christ to take on our nature and to suffer death on the cross. In your mercy, enable us to share in his obedience to your will and in the glorious victory of his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. You may be seated, and I invite our choir forward to tell the story of the Passion. In a perfect world, there would be this lovely page in the bulletin, which did not get in there. So, if you can turn to page 666, I know that's terrible, but that's the number, I'm sorry. Uh, it, and to pay at the verse number three, at some point in time, I will pivot toward you and you will sing that. It's really far into the cantata, so uh, it'll be fairly obvious when you verse three of that page. Okay.
and shouts of Hosanna, and blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, echoed in the hearts of Jesus and his devoted followers. It came time for the Passover feast. Jesus gathered the disciples in a specially prepared room and said to them, I have eagerly desired to eat this Passover feast with you before I suffer. Jesus took the cup, and after giving thanks, he said, Take this and divide it among you. I tell you, I will not drink again of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes. Then he took a loaf of bread, and after giving thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Then Jesus got up, took off his outer clothing, and wrapped a towel around his waist. After pouring water into a basin, he began to wash his disciples' feet, drying them with the towel that was wrapped around him. When he had finished, he asked them, Do you understand what I have done for you? You call me teacher and Lord, and rightly so, for that is what I am. But I tell you the truth, no servant is greater than his master, nor is the messenger greater than the one who sent him. If you know these things, you will be blessed if you do them. After sharing these tender moments with his disciples, Jesus, being deeply troubled in spirit, said, I tell you the truth, one of you is going to betray me. Then dipping the piece of bread as a sign, he gave it to Judas Iscariot. What you are about to do, do quickly, he told him. With that instruction, Judas departed into the night. The master also told Peter, that before the rooster crowed, he would deny three times that he knew Jesus. But Peter said vehemently, even if it means I must die with you, I will never deny you. All the others said the same. Then they departed to a place called Gethsemane. Jesus said to his disciples, 
sit here while I pray in those compelling moments of deep and personal prayer the heart and wondrous love of Jesus was fully revealed to God and to the world. Jesus said, My prayer is not for my disciples alone, but also for those who will believe in me through their message, that all of them may be one, Father, just as you are in me and I am in you. When Jesus had finished praying, he and his disciples left, crossing the Kidron Valley. They went to an olive grove where they often met. Judas, leading a detachment of soldiers and officials from the chief priests and the Pharisees, met them, and there they arrested Jesus. They took Jesus before Caiaphas, the high priest, and then before Pilate, the Roman governor. After the Inquisition, Pilate responded to Jesus' accusers, I find no basis for a charge against him. But the crowd refused to accept Pilate's verdict. Crucify him! Crucify him! They all shouted. Finally, Pilate, succumbing to the pressure of the crowd, handed Jesus over to be crucified. So the soldiers took Jesus, and carrying the cross himself, they led him to the place of the skull called Golgotha. There he was crucified. It was now about noon, and darkness came over the, the whole land, and the curtain of the temple was torn in two. Jesus, crying with a loud voice, said, It is finished. Then he breathed his last.
centurion, seeing what had happened, praised God and said, Surely this man was innocent. After the crowds who had gathered there witnessed the execution, they returned to their homes in anguish. Those who knew Jesus stood at a distance watching all of these things. invite you to stand as you're comfortable as we confess our faith, the Nicene Creed, on page four in your bulletin. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, True God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became truly human. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come to to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshiped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets, We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. 
Sustained by God's abundant mercy, let us pray for the church, the world, and all creation. Save your church, O God. Enable us to boldly confess in every time and place that Jesus Christ is Lord. With the humility of a servant, equip congregations, synods, and other ministries to proclaim your extravagant love for all. Lord, in your mercy, receive our prayer. Save your creation, O God. Every living being you have made has purpose. Give us renewed appreciation of farm animals who labor in the fields, service animals who accompany their human companions, and beloved pets who live alongside us. Lord, in your mercy, receive our prayer. Save the peoples of the earth, O God. Restore dignity to those who are scorned and persecuted for their religious beliefs or political activism and deliver them from the hand of their enemies. Bring peace to places where conflict runs deep. Lord, in your mercy, receive our prayer. Save those who cry to you in any need, O God. Watch over all who are incarcerated or awaiting trial, those standing with those who are unjustly accused. Be present with those feeling isolated, lonely, or few fearful, and those who long for healing. Today, we especially pray for Barb, Jenny, Tony, Judy, Jeff, Jamie, and those we now name silently or aloud before you. Lord, in your mercy, receive our prayer. Save us in your love, O God. Guide the work of church musicians, pastors, choirs, readers, deacons, technicians, acolytes, and all who assist in worship. Sustain them in their leadership as they accompany congregations through this holy week. Lord, in your mercy, receive our prayer. Save us at the last, O God. We give you thanks for your saints of old who embodied your love. As you dwelled with them, also dwell with us as we seek to live our lives in praise and service to you. Lord, in your mercy, receive our prayer. We lift our prayers to you, O God, trusting in your steadfast love and your promise to renew your whole creation through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you always. Let us turn to one another, sharing signs of God's peace. This time we'll collect our tithes and our offerings, as well as our noisy offerings. So if you have any coins on you, our young folks will come and collect anything that'll make noise in their cans.
Let us pray. God of good gifts, receive these and all our offerings as we present them in faithful service for the sake of your gospel. Prepare our hearts to receive you in this meal as you pour out your very presence through Christ Jesus, the wellspring of eternal life. Amen. Holy, mighty, and merciful Lord. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. In great love, you sent to us Jesus, your son, who reached out to heal the sick and suffering, who preached good news to the poor, and who on the cross opened his arms to all. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread, gave thanks, broke it, gave it for his disciples, saying, take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup, blessed it, and gave it for all to drink, saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. Remembering, therefore, his death, resurrection, and ascension, we await his coming in glory. Pour out upon us the spirit of your love, O Lord, and unite the wills of all who share this heavenly food the body and blood of Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be all honor and glory now and forever. Amen. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Christ invites you to this table. Come, taste, and see. You may be seated. All are welcome at this table. All are welcome to partake in this meal. If you're here in person, you'll be ushered forward to receive your bread, which is vegan, gluten-free, and your wine or grape juice. The wine is red, the grape juice is white. There's baskets on the side for you to place your empty cups in. And we'll start with the font side this morning. I have my whole list up here of things to make sure I say. Those of you joining us online and those wishing to remain in your seats, you picked up your cup on the way in. Those of you at home, you can use whatever bread, wine, or grape juice you have on hand. I invite you to take those at this time, open the side with bread. This is the body of Christ given for you. And open the side with wine or grape juice. This is the blood of Christ shed for you. And we'll continue with the Lamb of God on page nine.
invite you to stand as you're comfortable. We give you thanks, almighty God, that you have refreshed us through the healing power of this gift of life. In your mercy, strengthen us through this gift in faith toward you and in fervent love toward one another for the sake of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The God who surrounds us, the God who walks with us, the God who blows through us and unites us. Go out with us, giving us light and life, courage and peace. Amen. Our sending hymn this morning is Beneath the Cross of Jesus, number 338 in your hymnal. Go in peace, love, and serve the Lord.